Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy to Minikube using GitHub Actions. So let's start. So as you can see, oh, here I mentioned some steps that we need to follow the steps to deploy Minikube using GitHub Actions. So the first step is we need to create Docker file for Node.js app. After that, we need to create package.json file. Then the third step is create server.js file. Then fourth one is create Kubernetes deployment and service file. Fifth and last one is we need to create GitHub Actions workflow to deploy Minikube using GitHub Actions. Okay, so you can see here I mentioned our workflow, right? Okay. So first of all, we need to follow this fourth four step. After that, the last step is our workflow. Okay. So first, first of all, we need to uh, uh, follow this fourth step. Okay. So let's start. So as you can see here, oh, this is my account with the name DevOps Saint GitHub account. And in my GitHub account, you can see my repository with the name deploy to Minikube using GitHub Actions. So I have already created. And now let's start. So first of all, you can see first of all, we need to create Docker dot, sorry, Docker file for node.js app, right? Okay. So as you can see here, this is the official site of Minikube, you, you can see. Set up Minikube as CI step in GitHub Actions. So you can see here the requirements, a Docker file, then deployment.yaml and so on. So this is the official site. So if you want, then you can check this official site. So let's start. So first of all, we need to create our Docker file, right, for Node.js app. So as you can see here, here I create already created my Docker file, you can see. So let's open our Docker file. So that's our Docker file for Node.js app. So you can see here, here I'm using Node 14 and you can see run npm install, run npm express and so on because this is our Docker file for Node app. Okay, after that, the next step is we need to create package.json file, right? Okay. So let's check our package.json file. So here is our package.json file. Okay. So you can see in our package.json file, first of all, name, then version, then description, then author, main, scripts, node server.js, and dependencies. So that's the package.json file. Okay. After that, the third step is we need to create server.js file. Okay, so let's check our server.js file. So here is our server.js file. So in server.js file, as you can see, that's the code of our server.js file. Okay, then now the next step is we need to create Kubernetes deployment and service file. That's the fourth one. Create Kubernetes and deployment and service file. Okay, so let's say. So here is our file.yml file. And you can see deployment and so on. Then service, you can see. Okay, so that's the code of our Kubernetes, oh, sorry, Kubernetes deployment and service file. Okay. So that's the fourth step. Okay, now the last and main step is we need to create our workflow, right? So you can see here, this is our workflow. Okay, okay. So let's start. Let's check our workflow. So as you know, how to create our workflow, first of all, we need to create .github folder. In .github, fo .github folder, we need to create workflows. And in workflows folder, we need to create our workflow. Okay, so let's open our workflow folder. And in my workflow folder, here my YAML file name is deploy to Minikube GitHub Actions dot YAML. So let's open and check our code. So let's understand code first. So first of all, name deploy to Minikube using GitHub Actions, then on push. So in job, first of all, 
runs on Ubuntu and our job name is build Node.js Docker image and deploy to Minikube. So you can see a step. So here we are using this action checkout repository. After that, this setup Minikube, uh, Minikube repository. Then after that, here, yeah, Kubernetes get parts A. Then after that, build image. And after that, this is our Docker image you can see. And you can see our image name is node app latest. After that, in name, deploy to Minikube. And after that, test service URLs. Right, and here in this, first of all, Minikube service list. And after that, Minikube service node.js app URL. So that's the steps, that's jobs in our workflow, right? Okay. Now, let's go to the actions and let's check our workflow. It succeed or not. You can see it succeed. So let's open. You can see state of success. Okay. So let's open and let's check the output. So as you can see the step, setup job, runs, action checkout repository, start Minikube, try the cluster, build image, deploy to Minikube, test service URL, then post run action checkout, and then complete job. Okay, so let's check build image. So you can see, it succeed, right? As you can see all the, what is uh, so the output you can see image id and so on okay after that now let's check build to minikube sorry deploy to minikube you can see the run kubernetes apply node uh, node app.yaml file deployment app created you can see service node.js app created okay now test service urls and as you can see here, the output, you can see namespace, name, target port, and URL. You can see the output, right? That means we have successfully uh, successfully deployed Minikube using GitHub Actions, right? So in this session, we have learned how to deploy Minikube using GitHub Actions. So thank you for watching.